Hi, I'm Sid Dobrin. This video is about the research project that asks students to write a proposal offering a solution to inconsistencies between a curricular design within a major and current trends and career opportunities in that field. This assignment requires two different research approaches, which we might conveniently characterize as one local and one more global. The local research asks students to look carefully at one or two majors they might consider pursuing. This part of the research objective is designed to help students learn more about their college catalog and specifically about the majors they wish to pursue. Now, some colleges and universities require undergraduate students to declare a major prior to acceptance and enrollment, while others have students declare majors after they have completed a certain number of courses or requirements, like general education requirements. No matter when students at your institution declare majors, they should be able to adapt the segment of the research objective to the institutional practices. The second research objective asks students to learn more about the requirements of a specific career or job. For this research, I find it useful to point students in three directions. To our Student Career Resource Center, to the professional publications in which positions for the specified career are advertised, and to library research to locate published material about job trends in the chosen field. I also recommend students conduct primary research and conduct interviews with several professionals in their field to learn more about what they see as the necessary requirements for being hired and succeeding in the field and to learn more about what people in the field actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. I take this part of the research approach from a research methodology known as career audit, common in both technical and professional writing, as well as in student success pedagogies. Part of the objective of the assignment is to have students identify and articulate the specific problem for which they will propose a solution. When I teach this assignment, I emphasize the fact that in order to answer the assignment, students have to first conduct the research in order to identify the problem. That is, unlike many assignments that ask students to use their research to solve a problem identified prior to the research process, this assignment asks students to conduct research in order to discover whether or not there really is a problem that needs to be solved, or if there is maybe just an opportunity to improve the alignment between curriculum and career expectations. With this in mind, I spend a good deal of time talking with students about the importance of how they identify and define the problem for which their proposal offers a solution. I tie this part of the proposal to the need to provide a clear scope as well. Likewise, I emphasize the importance of how the definition of the problem and scope of the proposal are connected to how students develop a strong thesis for the proposal. I also use the assessment rubric I use with this assignment to encourage students to focus on the thesis and the purpose aspects of the rubric. I've included my assessment rubric with the instructor materials for this chapter. Feel free to use it or modify it as it best serves your pedagogical and programmatic needs. That's just a little bit to help you think about your approaches to this research assignment. Thanks for using Writing Situations, and thanks for watching.